Hello friends, I am wrapping up my time at the Speak Up conference and I wanted to share a little four minute Devo with you, despite the fact that I have a few paper visuals and it's a bit windy here. But to begin with, I want you to consider the hardest personal challenge in the growth of your Christian life right now. Now, what if I told you I have discovered a single practice that will result in the cure for your anxiety, the ability to do all the right things, and will grant you an instantaneous attitude of gratitude? The trick is to find your lead domino. You've no doubt used this little guy to knock over a whole line of the game pieces, but did you know that each block as it falls unleashes enough energy to knock over another domino 50% larger than the first? If you line them all up mathematically, the 18th domino would fell the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The 23rd would take down the Eiffel Tower. The 31st, Mount Everest. And the 57th, the moon. So what is that first domino in bringing about everything we desire? For that answer, we'll look at 1 John 3.22. Whatever we ask, we receive from him. Now before you string me up for heresy, you gotta listen to the last part of the verse because there's a catch. Whatever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. Oh, so apparently, Obeying God is that key. That's our first domino. Well, obedience is hard. I mean, seriously, that's a really big domino. We are sinful, broken people living in a sinful, broken world. And with that comes the desire for comfort over a desire for righteousness. So what we need is an overhaul of our heart. We must be like Eustace. When Aslan, you remember when he ripped the dragon scales off of him? In the same way, we need Jesus to rip our will away and replace it with the vibrancy of his will. And then everything that he wants is what we want. And because nothing thwarts the will of our God, so he will bring about everything he desires, including our obedience. So that means that all we really need is to desire God. Yet to surrender ourselves to a transplant of our very heart demands an intimate level of trust. So an even smaller domino is that we must trust God. We must trust that Jesus will only ever do that which is good and perfect and loving and righteous, not only in the end game, but in every moment. We must trust, and this is the hardest part, we must trust that every bitter blow has been purposed because he knows that nothing else would shape us to reflect him best. But how can you trust someone you don't know? And that's it. That is our first domino. We must know God. When you invest your life in knowing God's heart, you will understand him to be good and righteous and sovereign over every moment. And in knowing his heart, you will trust his will, because you will realize that every tendril of his will is woven through his character, including everything he has called us to and called us to be and called us to do. And when you know God, you will thus trust God. You will fall in love with him and you will desire God. Your every hope is in making him happy. His pleasure is your ultimate delight and thus you will easily and instinctively, in your newness of life, you will obey God. Every single time, starting with the knowledge, not just the knowledge of God, but the knowledge of who God is as he presents himself to you and called you to be everything in him. That's what it means to know God, to immerse yourself in him. When you knock down that first domino, you will knock down every subsequent larger thing in life. It all starts with knowing God and along that way, along that route, your anxiety will be quelled because you trust 
his goodness and sovereignty. You will be so focused on his will that your actions will be transformed and you will do all the right things. And your heart will erupt in cacophonous praise and thanks because you will see only goodness pour from him. Knowing God is your first domino. Start there and everything else will fall into place.